Hello you beautiful people, it is 250k. So today we are in Rotorua in New Zealand and I'm staying for one night at the Rotorua International Motor Inn. So we're going to do a quick room review of what to expect here. This whole area really smells like quite sulfurous. You've got a lot of geothermal activity. There's lots of hot springs and that sort of thing. Absolutely stunning place to visit, although around the outside of it, there is quite a lot of poverty. I was told that this restaurant that's part of it, you know, the Japanese, is the sushi there is out of this world. I don't like sushi, so we never went there, but the guy who was taking me around said it's, it's well worth a visit. Never ceases to amaze me in New Zealand how some of it looks incredibly English, some of it looks incredibly American, and then other parts are just uniquely New Zealand. It's that it's so Kiwi. <laughs> you can see this looks very much like a traditional American motel. If anyone's been over to the States and stayed in, in that sort of thing, even like the Holiday Inn motels. So look, you've got three chairs there and a table. There's a little bit of hot work on the wall. Um, other than that, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty dreary little room, but look, you're not paying a, a lot of money for these. I don't know how much was paid because it was part of my work trip, but you can see, I mean, there's enough lights there. You've got three standing lights between the two double beds. There's uh, quite a bright LED on the ceiling. Beds were comfy enough, a uh, little bit too soft for my liking, but that's because I'm a bit of a lump and I sink into them. You can see you've got tables there as well, bedside tables. And then just behind the beds, you've got the TV and desk, and then you've got this big wardrobe. In here, you've got a warmer blanket, an ironing board, only three hangers, and there's a little iron down the bottom there. Moving on next to that, you can see the microwave. Looks like there's a toilet in the microwave. And then you've got your kettle and teapot and tea bags. No biscuit. Where's the biscuits, guys? Come on, long day, just arrive on a biscuit. In the drawers here, we got the cutlery. There's a can opener there as well. In this next drawer down, you've got wooden spatula and a wooden spoon with a split in it. Um, I don't think that's overly healthy, but there you go. In this one then, you've got the wooden chopping board. Could have got in the other drawer, to be honest, but we don't need a drawer by itself. And then you've got the draining thingy, whatever you call them there, rack, I guess. In here then you've got cups, glasses, uh, wine glasses and tumblers, and then you've got plates and bowls. Not going to set the world alight, but look, this is uh, cheap living, guys, cheap living. Then you've got your sink, and you've got a two ring hob thing next to it. I've never used that, so I don't know if it's induction or just a heated element underneath the glass. Extractor fan there. All the plug sockets in this room are Kiwi plug sockets, by the way, there's no USB. You got a fridge with an old ice box and there's a uh, milk UHT milk in there as well in dates I should say under the sink then got a toaster you've got your washing up gear there and a tea towel and then below that you've got a bowl you've got a frying pan and you've got a saucepan with a lid over in this corner here you've got a little bin and above that, you've got a window. Didn't look out over much, to be honest with you. Coming through to the bathroom, you know, it's fairly clean. Leaves It needs a little bit of TLC, but like I said, it's cheap. So you've got a couple of flannels, a couple of bars of soap there and some hand wash. And then next to that, you've got the toilet, another little waste paper bin there. And there's another window in there. Then you've got your heated towel rail and then we swing around to the shower over the bath. Again, this was perfectly clean. You got your shampoo, body wash and conditioner over there. Uh, your shower was fine, didn't have an issue with it at all. You can see, like I said, it, it could do with a little bit of TLC. You know, the grout's a bit dirty now I'm going. I did find Colin the crane fly having a rest in the bath. I don't think he was resting actually. 
Anyway, peeps, that's about it. There's not much to see, but if you're heading out this way, this is Rotorua International Motor Inn. Laters, potatoes, off your pop.